In this video, we will see SCPPP routing structure. Next, as we discuss, routing is nothing but a, a sequence of operation and if you seen the how to create routing, how to change and how to display, there is some structure of routing where in that we can put as a material component, adds a PRT, inspection characteristics, trigger points for particular operations or sequence of operations. So these are a basic tabs is given under the routing where you can define material components, production resources and tools, inspection characteristics and trigger points. So like this the routing structure is there. So for particular operations, a particular sequence of operation, we can define it. In this practical, we are going to see SAPPP routing, routing structure. So for routing structure, go for creation, put material name, So this screen will become, this screen is nothing but a routing structure. Here you put a user's status that is mandatory field 2. Then here is user's, user's type is over here. See the types of the users for what purpose you are going to be use the routing for production or design or engineering or reversal. Universal you are going to be used, plant maintenance, goods receipt for what purpose you are going to be use the routing. Next, there is the set status. So, status is you can put a status while creation phase, release for order, release for costing, release for general, release uh, then after the release. Okay. So, like this, the status is there. Then, afterwards, over here we have seen in PPT also, there is material assignment also is there. Okay. Then, sequence from where we can assign a material. Sequence is then operations, you can put operation, then component allocation, okay. you can allocate a component. So this is a routing structure, so in this practical we have seen a routing structure. So in this video we have seen routing structure, thanks a lot.